Well, thank you so much for staying with us. And again, thank you to our sponsors um, so that uh, we can, you know, bring the show to you each and every week. Without them, we wouldn't be able to do that. So we've been talking about fertilizers and things that's going on um, in the lawn. We want to talk to you a little bit about at this time of the year, a lot of you are starting to harvest. And um, uh, hopefully, anyhow, um, you're getting some tomatoes now, some peppers. Um, Hopefully, um, you're getting some of your greens, like your lettuce, your arugula, um, those kind of things that you are harvesting. And and if you're not... um, the farmers that are at the farmer's markets are. So go and take advantage of them. But there's a few things um, that some of us um, don't think about always growing ourselves um, that we can eat. And we want to remind you about some of those crops because you can grow those indoors throughout the year. And um, that is... um, you know, very useful to us. Um, And not always are we thinking about in the summertime, we're thinking about our vegetable gardens outside, you know, our tomatoes and, and all of those things. But there are some other things that you can grow indoors. Um, And I'm going to use, for example, aloe vera. And we grow aloe vera in the greenhouse year round. We do it organically also because um, a lot of us consume aloe vera. And if we're not consuming it internally, um, we will use it on an open wound, Um, Or we use it as a moisturizer on our skin and your skin is the largest organ of your body and it's very absorbent. So when you're putting, um, if you're rubbing aloe vera um, on yourself, you want to make sure that you are using one that's been organically raised. Um, You don't want one that there's been chemicals in if you're rubbing that on your skin also. But there are some, you know, great ways to take it internally. Actually, there's an aloe vera smoothie um, that you use, um, you know, apple juice and spinach and strawberries in with your aloe vera. And this is going to be um, very, very healthy um, as well. So that aloe vera is very good for your stomach. Um, Actually, when we get new chicks in or new turkeys, if you saw our post this week, we had chicks last week and and turkeys this week. Um, But we put aloe vera in their water and it helps them get through those first couple weeks, um, keeping the digestion system working very well and things like that. But so you want to make sure that those um, and are all organic. But the aloe vera is something that you can grow indoors year round. And um, you don't have to just do it in the summertime. You can have those for your smoothies throughout the season. Or, you know, we all cook a lot um, around the holidays. Having an aloe vera in the house at that time is very important. So that if you burn yourself when you're taking cookies out of the oven, you have that aloe vera to put on it right now, right away. Um, But like at this time of the year, if you get a little bit of a sunburn, um, the aloe vera, you know, just take off a leaf, slice it in two and you can rub it all over. It's very, very soothing. Um, And again, you know, you want that aloe vera leaf to be organic when you're putting that on. But again, a lot of people don't think about aloe vera being edible and it is and works out very, very well. Um, And some other things that you might want to be starting right now that you can do indoors as well um, are your sprouts. And so you can do um, alfalfa sprouts. Some of you even see those in the grocery store. But alfalfa sprouts are quite easy to grow yourself. Um, and you can get those seeds, um, sprinkle them in. You can grow them um, in a jar with just some uh, water, um, but they also will grow in the soil, and you can cut those off. Um, They're very, very high in antioxidants, crazy high in vitamin K, and um, then in some minerals like copper and magnesium, um, manganese. Um, it's it's great to have those um, in your system um, and it's very, very good for you. So alfalfa sprouts and the other sprouts as well. Um, but you can use them on sandwiches, top them off on some eggs, um, in soups. They're just amazing and throw them in a salad. And sprouts um, you can grow year round as well. So those are going to be uh, working for you um, throughout the season and um, work um, very well um, to help you with your um, getting your greens and things like that in the wintertime um, if you have problems with that in the wintertime. But um, many of you um, are starting, like I said, to have good harvest on other things in your gardens um, and in your um, orchards maybe. So apples are coming on. Some of our early apples are coming on. So when you're picking those, remember... um, you can do so many things with them. You know, a lot of times we have so many and then we're like, oh, what do we do with all of these? You know, you can uh, 
can them. You can um, make pies with them. Uh, there's just so many things. And then, of course, you can make cider, make your own apple juice. Um, there's, you know, baked apples. So remember, you know, do a lot of different things with them. And then so many of these things you can make and then freeze so that you have them later on. And, um, of course, all of you are, most of you are having tomatoes um, right now. And as those start coming on, you know, again, we're like, oh, what do we do with all these tomatoes? Um, this is, you know, a great time to start planning before all of them come on. Um, this is a great time. To, to lay out how you're going to um, prep them, um, how you're going to preserve them. So, you know, you can make salsa, you can make spaghetti sauce, tomato juice. There's just so many things um, that you can do with um, your tomatoes. And, you know, you can can your tomatoes. Um, that is really um, brings out the lycopene and the lycopene is cancer fighting for us. Um, so, you know, you really want to make sure that you, if you can, um, you do can. Um, if you have the opportunity to can, you do it. Um, it is very, very um, wonderful to have um, a fresh um, spaghetti sauce in the winter time, and um, you can you know save up. And a lot of times, like we do this um, at the garden center, um, we don't have a lot of tomatoes coming on at once because we don't have tons and tons of tomato plants. Um, and so we will just clean them and freeze them. And then once we have a bulk amount of them, then I will cook them down and, and make the sauce. So you can do it that way as well. Also, a lot of you have raspberries coming on right now. Raspberries are a great one to freeze. They freeze so well. They also make wonderful, wonderful jelly. Um, so as your raspberries are coming on, um, it, you know, it's great to do that. And also blueberries. Um, you've all heard me talk about blueberry Gary from Louisville. Well, bless his heart. He has wonderful amounts of blueberries um, right now. And we actually get them from him and sell them at the store. And so if you want a small amount, because Gary only sells in three pound bags, uh, we do break them down um, into pint size um, containers for you. So if you want a small amount of organic blueberries, but blueberries freeze great. So why don't you go ahead and buy that three pound bag? Um, and then you can freeze them for the winter. They freeze so well. But right now is a great time when you have blueberries in season, raspberries in season, strawberries. Some people still have strawberries if they have an all season strawberry. Um, you have all these berries. Make a multi berry um, jelly. Um, you know, multi berry jellies are very, very good for you. High in crazy antioxidants. So good for your system. And you can use chia seeds to do the thickening up so you're not using all of the sugar that makes the sure gel. Um, you know, set. Um, so there's some really healthy alternatives for your jellies. And it's great to go ahead and take advantage of all of those berries that's coming on. Um, even blackberries, wild blackberries or blackberries that you grow yourself. We have thornless blackberries um, at the store and they are ripening up right now. Several of them have berries on them. Um, and blackberries are very, very healthy for you. Um, just crazy high in vitamin C, vitamin K, vitamin E. Um, and and um, folic and niacin. Um, so you really want to take advantage of that. And um, but again, another berry that would be great in a multi berry jelly. Um, and they all start to mature around the same time. So it's very easy to do that. And that's going to be um, really, really um, healthy for you. Um, some of the other things um, that we have um, starting to ripen right now um, is peaches. And um, the peaches um, at our place are just about there. We've picked a couple peaches here and there, um, and they are just about ripe. So if you have gotten peaches from us in the past, we do only have one tree, um, but we do share because um, we grow them, of course, all organically. Um, and um, peaches are starting to come on. So if you see peaches at a farmer's market right now, uh, you can trust um, that they are, um, they could be local peaches. You want to make sure that you ask. Um, but peaches are coming in season right now, um, as well as, like I said, the apples. Um, people will have um, be having their cherry trees will be starting to produce very, very shortly. Um, that's one that is a tough one because of the birds. Um, but, um, you know, get your peaches. Um, they freeze uh, so crazy easy um, and just um, amazing at um, how 
wonderful they are. And they freeze great. Um, you can make so many different things with them. Um, and they work very well with um, other types of fruits. You know, um, blueberries and peaches are great together. Um, and um, so it's really, really uh, great to do that. But again, um, you know, freezing and preserving all of these things that come from your garden or from a local farmer in your area. Um, you know that the carbon footprint is low. Um, that's a good thing for the environment and that you have supported a local farmer that much better. Um, and then, of course, you've built that relationship with a farmer so you know if it's um, grown organically or clean anyhow. Um, and then you can you know, preserve those things so that your family has, um, you know, still local peaches um, in the middle of the winter and local blueberries um, and so many of those types of things. And um, so it's very important um, to go ahead and get those harvests in. Um, actually, somebody was uh, texted me this past week asking about tomatoes, you know, enough that they could start canning. Well, most people or farmers are not... Um, at that point yet with their tomatoes, especially because of the year we had, we're not getting an abundance of tomatoes right now where we have three bushels um, that we can, you know, sell to a person and the, you can start making your sauce. We're looking at probably another four weeks um, before most farmers uh, exactly around here anyhow in Stark, Tusk, um, Holmes County has that many tomatoes coming on at once, unless you're a really big farmer, um, that you have that many um, that you can sell so that somebody can start making their sauce and their salsa and those kind of things right now. Um, but it's going to, um, it will be here very, very quickly. Well, we want to thank all of you so much um, for being with us each and every week. Next week, we will be into August. Can you believe that? Um, can't believe that August is almost here. Um, but remember, um, if you um, would are growing fruits and vegetables and you have questions to give me a call at 330-455-5997 or stop out at the store at 5828 Columbus Road, um, right there on the corner of Columbus Road and Broadway. If you are growing vegetables and you think something is looking great, um, we really encourage you to enter it into the fair at the Stark County Fair or if you're in Tusk or Homes, um, enter things into the fair um, and let other people see, um, you know, that people in our area are growing things and let's keep this alive. Um, you can do that online at the Stark County Fair, um, dot com. Um, or you can go to our Facebook page and get information about that, how to join, how to enter your things at the fair. It's a lot of fun um, to do it, and we would love to have your participation. Thank you so much for being with us. I'll see you in August. Thanks so much, and have a blessed week.